Hello gamers and welcome to Do Not Power Off where today I am going to be looking at the game Contrast and hopefully give it a rating slash just talking about this game. Hopefully I'm making you think, should I get this game or should I not? Now Contrast. A lot of people have been wondering, what the hell do I play when I have my PS4? I mean, I bought this thing, and right now, there's no games coming out. It's been a month since the game system was released, and we have nothing to show. Well, I was looking on through the, um, the PSN network, and I saw this game called Contrast, and it was free. So, if you have a PSN Plus account, definitely go and get download this game, because it is free. Now, what makes this game so special? I gotta say, it's the world that you're in. You're in this steampunk game, and you are the imaginary friend of a girl named Diddy. Now, Diddy, she's in a broken household, and she is just trying to keep everything together and to help her keep her mother happy, to keep her father from not getting killed from these gangsters. She has to have the help of her imaginary friend, which who is the person you play as, and you have to try to make this family that much better. Now, the thing that makes this game so strong, in my opinion, is Diddy. She is just such a great character, and you believe that she is trying her hardest to make this family dynamic work. And if she did not work, this whole game would not work. Now, I just saw this broken down home and I just thought to myself, wow, this is powerful. I, I mean, a lot of games sometimes will just rely on the gameplay alone, but this indie developer said, I'm gonna take the time. I'm going to make a game where the main characters have a point to them and the world around there has a point and you, want to uh, experience this and you want to go through the whole entire game. I mean, just the world alone made me want to go through it. And seeing how this story ended was actually worth it. And it's nice to see this indie developer saying, hey, I know how to tell a story and I'm going to tell it. Now, there is some bad things about this game that really do make you think, Man, I wish there was something a little bit better here. And there are points in here where you'll have to get a box and go put it on point A to point B and try to get levers to move up and down. And once you pick up a box, there's this weird hit hit detection where your character will just start move or will start getting into like a just a mode where it, she's immobile. As you see here, like, this just is so cool, just to see this world. You go, bam! Oop, I missed. Now, as you can see, you're in the 3D realm, and the cool thing about this game is actually in the 2D, 2D realm also. As Diddy's friend, or imaginary friend, you could go into the shadows and make yourself invisible. Or put yourself in the shadows. And when you saw this, it was just so awesome. Uh, as you can see, the um, the puzzles in this game at the beginning do get very simple. Uh, but they definitely do get intricate as you go through the game. And once you get to these some hard puzzles where you're just trying to manipulate the shadows and the 2D plane with the 3D plane, that is where this game really shines. But where this game does not shine is in the later levels, or the later levels where we're just relying on put the box in point A to point B. And you play that so many times, and when you play in it, you're just, you see the repetitive of it, and you're seeing a, a writer, as you can see right here, you see the storytelling, you see Diddy and the um, third, uh, in reality, but you see everyone else around her in these shadows and it's so awesome to just to see Diddy just going around and being like I'm trying to do this for my family because this family is so broken and to have this little girl just trying to help is just something I didn't expect to see and the the director the creator of this game should just be feeling proud of what he created 
Because this is going beyond just some games in general where games just become so generic where this one has life to it. And that's what I loved about playing it. Now, people may say that this game is not the most beautiful, especially for being on the PS4, but the this developer, he he had his tools and he created a beautiful world around it. And you see it's just a wide open world and it's just so awesome. Now there are points in here which I'm hopefully going to show you where you'll be interacting with the storytelling with the people in the shadows and those moments are the moments where you're just like wow. Mm. But I just absolutely love this game just for just how much of a childlike atmosphere it had. Now I'm hopefully going to try to find this one part of the game that was just so... Okay, here. Alright, so you see this little th memory going around. You can actually go and get in the shadows and use... Ah, there you go. And use the shadows to get to certain objects and this is where I think the the creator wanted to go with this game is these moments where you're interacting with the cutscene and the level is just moving along in this natural flow and you are just going along on this ride and you want to see what's going to happen next. Now the only thing I wish really is that this the director had enough time to put into the game to get out of all the bugs. There's a lot of bugs in this game that kind of breaks the game at points, but you just want to get through it just to see what happens next. So you will kind of wait and look at those flaws and be like, I'll, I'll just deal with them because I really like the world that we're in. Now this point in the game is where you get to see where the game really shines. This is where I think the director really wanted to go with the storytelling in this game. Where you'll be interacting with the story and the level design will be going with the flow of the story. And this part you get, you're a princess and you are going through a story of this knight who is getting into trouble and you're going out to go save the, the knight. This point was where the game absolutely was flawless. I mean, there's the knight. He's gonna go and save or get go and do this quest for the king so he can get the princess's hand in marriage. And you're just in another realm. You're just like, man. I mean, just look at this. As the storytellers tell the story of this princess. And you're just going along and you're just like, wow, this is really what the game was meant to be. <laughs> and it just has a storytelling element to it that you're just like, wow, this is what indie games are supposed to be. Some, just something that you can't play anywhere else. And I'm just so floored that this game was free on the PlayStation Network. Now, you can also get this game on PC and maybe Xbox. Now look at that. The snappy crocodiles are going in. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> just so much fun. Oh, a trophy earned. Awesome. And there's just so much magic to this. <laughs> How to get magic mushrooms get higher or get high. Do, do, do. And there's just like this just these elements of working with the story. It's just completely outstanding. I absolutely love this game. And I do believe that everyone should go try it out, especially if you have a PlayStation Plus account and it is absolutely free. And what is a better price than that? I mean, you're going to have so much fun with this game. Go out, support this indie developer, and just know you're going to be in for a fun, fun time. So, in the end, I'm going to give Contrast a 3 
out of five. And I do believe this is a game that you should give a shit about because, man, it's just fun. It's just completely fun. And I can just play this game for hours and be like, I love the intricate de um, level design in this game. Oh, there's the king, or there's the knight, and he's fallen, and you kill the orc. It's just completely awesome. So, three out of five. This game you should definitely give a shit about. And go out and support our indie developers. And if you have a PlayStation Plus account, it is free. If you like these type of just talking about this indie game, please subscribe to my channel. And I'm also going to be having some comic book stuff coming back. And I'm just enjoying myself doing just talking about games. So, I'll see you guys next time.